Hi everyone, it's Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. I hope everyone's doing okay today. Not just okay, I hope everyone's doing really well today. Today is Wednesday. Um, and you ask, Kirsten, what is the date? It is, I actually know it, March 23rd. Wow, look at me, look at me. Um, this is going to be a brief, and when I say brief, I mean pretty brief. I've been not well. <laughs> I ate stuff that I shouldn't have eaten and I'm paying for it. Yeah, it's my own fault. I mean, can't blame anyone but me and lack of lack of self-control. Anyway, um, so this is going to be a brief um, preview of uh, what I'll be bringing tomorrow evening uh, for my sale, uh, which will be tomorrow, Thursday, the 24th of March at 6 p.m. Pacific time, which is now Pacific Standard Time, I think. Uh, yeah, Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Pacific time. Anyway, um, yeah, so let's get going because who knows when I need to go running to, uh, you know, the little girl's room and that's never a fun thing to deal with. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're going to start here. I have this incredibly beautiful carved Tibetan goddess pendant. She is very large. If you look at that, she is, you know, a few inches. Just outstanding, beautiful. She's on a little chain. Came with this chain. It is gold tone, um, but the detail in her, she is, she's just beautiful. She has a little teeny little uh, imperfection right here, um, but it does not take away from the beauty of this necklace. And she is, like I always say, people laugh, one of a kind. When things are hand carved, they are one of a kind. You can't mass produce hand carved items. They can produce as many as they'd like to, but none of them will be exactly the same. Hence why they're uh, one of a kind, right? <laughs> okay, move it on. Um, that, okay, well, since these are right here, I've got this really, really lovely bracelet. It has the pin, it opens. I love this one. This is a smaller size, it fits fantastic. And it's heavy, but not too heavy. Like you'll know it's there, but it's not gonna give you like a, a wrist ache. Is that a thing? Do people get wrist aches? Well, I guess you can if you have like arthritis and stuff or carpal tunnels, which I have both. Love this. And the orange is just such a brilliant color. It's like, I'm not a huge, huge orange gal, <laughs> um, but this is hmm, a really nice, rich orange, like a true, true color of what I would think an orange would be. Does that make any sense to y'all? If you look at the color wheel, <laughs> I'm not gonna get into color theory, but you all know, you guys know. Uh, this spectacular, we've got this necklace here. This is also handmade. And this is older piece. This piece is from the 70s. And she also has a matching bracelet with the pin. Very ornate filigree detailing. This is a really nice pin. The way this one is designed, I'll show you. I'll show you. So it fits. It's like a hidden pin. So it fits inside there. Yes. Well, can I do it on camera? Probably not. Yeah. Well, let me slide it down, and then this gets pushed into there so it's not gonna be sticking out and rubbing on your skin or anything. Just a really, really pretty thing. Pretty thing. What do you all smell? Okay, I have a little bit of a uh, check stuff. Um, let's see, someone, I can't remember who it was, asked me if I had any um, uh, Nygear, um, uh, Czech, Czech Nygear Brothers from Czechoslovakia, um, and I do. I c collect it, um, and I don't normally part with very much of it, but I am going to be willing to part with this spectacular bracelet for two reasons. One, because it's too big on me. Two, I've never worn it. Um, and it just sits and it's just too beautiful. So this is a authentic Nike Air Brothers bracelet. Now, it does have a tiny bit of enamel loss now remember, this is very old, okay? So 
for the age of this, this is in remarkable condition. It is very difficult to find bracelets. It's a little beat up here, um, which I can pull out a bit. I don't like messing with it too much because um, I don't want anything to happen to it because, you know, they're pretty incredible and they're getting harder and harder to get. It is very difficult. It's much easier to find uh, necklaces. Um, I'm not sure why it's so difficult to get bracelets or rings. Um, I've been fortunate enough in my short time collecting it to acquire a couple uh, bracelets. Only one ring. I've only been able to acquire one ring, which I'm not quite ready to leave, get rid of yet. Um, but this I'll be bringing. This is going to be a much more expensive piece. So just forewarning, okay? Um, but it is just really beautiful. And these are, I don't know, maybe... Well, right now in the Czech Republic, no one's buying anything. Okay, let's be real here. Um, and, you know, you never know. Um, it's just a difficult thing to come by, and they're getting harder and harder, um, and they're going to only become more and more valuable. So, but I do not own a jewelry museum, nor do I want to. <laughs> and, you know, I really think uh, someone needs to own this and love it and, and actually wear it, you know? Okay, anyway, so this will be there tomorrow. And then I have another check bracelet, which is not um, a, oh my God, a Nigear uh, Brothers bracelet, but it is beautiful all the same, but you can tell like just the difference. And this is the amber check glass. And this right here was replaced, this uh, clasp, okay? I do have the original clasp in the bag. I can send it to you. It just doesn't, it stays closed, but the there's no spring action here. So you literally have to manually open it and manually close it. It doesn't automatically do that. And so that can, you know, upset someone or you can possibly lose your bracelet if you're not aware that that is a thing. So I have, because it's the original one, so it'll come with this bracelet if anyone buys it. I love this one. Beautiful. And this has no little flea bites. Not that I can see at all. Well, maybe a teeny one. Okay, I take that back. There's a tiny little... Flea bite there, but all the other ones are fine. See, it's good that I do these previews because I get to actually see things super up close on the camera. Um, Cause like just to the naked eye without the camera zooming in, when I'm just, you know, going through them and cleaning, I don't necessarily see these tiny little imperfections, but when it's, you know, zoomed in, I can see them much better. And even, you know, everyone makes mistakes and doesn't see everything, but okay. Anyway, that'll be there tomorrow. Okay, um, I am going to also bring, um, let's see. Oh, I'm gonna bring some costume jewelry. So I have this um, really pretty uh, Heidi Dice, Dals, I, well, it depends what country you're from, how you're gonna pronunciate it, uh, but I say Heidi Dals, okay? Um, bringing this. Really pretty colors. I love the green with the purple and the orange. There's oh, look at this. There's a little bit of an orange theme happening. What's going on? Not intentional, but I like this. And for someone who likes how you but some of her stuff might be a little too much for you, a little too gaudy or whatever. This is just gaudy enough, but still understated enough that you can, you know, wear it and still feel super confident and don't feel like you're, you know, screaming look at me look at me i need attention you know it's more understated although if you want to wear stuff that makes you say look at me look at me i need to tell i want attention that's fine i'm not knocking that either but that's not always everyone that i cater to a little bit of everything for everyone absolutely it's very pretty okay okay i'm going to show you something i don't you know i I was hesitant to bring it to you guys because um, it's one of these things if you know, you know, and if you don't, then you're gonna just think I'm nuts, you know? Um, this is a highly, highly collectible vintage jewelry designer, uh, Les Bernard, okay? Um, and this is all, it has this tag, Les Bernard. This is vintage, this is all cut glass. It is a big, substantial hunk of awesomeness. And they are graduated and they get larger as you go down. Um, this is a limited edition piece. They only made this for a short period of time. It was in magazines on the runway. It is highly desirable, sought after, 
hard to find. Um, I have not yet found this same exact one. I have found another cut glass one, um, but it was uh, much shorter and it wasn't graduated and it was just these glass balls, but I have not been able to find this exact one on the market, okay? Uh, in old magazines, um, I have to find the information. I think it was an old, old, uh, was it Mademoiselle? I have to look it up. I don't even remember at this present moment. Um, also, in the I think in the seventies, um, I forget which department store it was, had um, him as a visitor and had a trunk show in Manhattan. Um, and this is part of that show. Yeah, so look it up. I mean, Les Bernard, they have stuff that is thousands of dollars to things that are like 40 bucks. You know what I mean? It's really all over the place. It really depends on the collection, the year, um, if it's vintage, if it's not, you know, it just depends. Um, yeah, but I'm thinking about bringing this, even if it's just to show you guys again, um, it is on a chain. It has this awesome, super big barrel clasp here. It does have its hang tag. And this is costume, okay? It is cut glass, but this is not sterling. Yeah, and it is a heavy necklace, okay? But it's just outstanding. I was honored to be able to have this in my presence, for sure. For sure. Okay, um, enough of that. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, okay, does anyone like Vintage, okay, so, well, I'm sure everyone likes vintage. Okay, so it came in its original little leather or faux leather, I'm not sure, box. It has a little bit of damage right there, okay? But it is this awesome little bracelet. Look at it, it's gold tone little keys with a lucite bird charm. Look at that. Let's see if I can take it out of here. I didn't even take it out of here. Yes, I can. And be careful, because I don't want to, you know, came to me this way. Oh my God, I love it. It's so sweet, look at this. So you have the little robin with all the little gold tone keys. And then, let me, oh boy, come on Kirsten. Oh, my fingers are like, oh no, you're not gonna work. There we go. And I clasp it has the little heart, so the keys to your heart. Look how sweet. Love this. Um, and who is this? It is called, who is that? Can you guys see that? Whoever that is, what does it say? I can't even see it. My eyeglass appointment isn't until, I think it's the second, is it the second of April or the fourth of April? So I cannot see very well. So that's whoever this is. <laughs> but it will come in the original box. Um, at least it was sold to me this way as the original box. The bracelet itself, I do not see any markings on it stating the name of the company, um, but it fits in here perfectly and that's how it was sold to me. So I'm gonna stick with it. If I could ever get it back in this box, well, I'll do that later, not on camera. Don't wanna waste everyone's time. Okay, oh, turn around, don't get hurt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'm so okay. sorry. Hello. Hello. I'm back. Um, and my dogs were telling me that FedEx was here, which, you know, I, I've given up on FedEx. I, I feel like I get things randomly when they feel like dropping them off to me. I don't know. Hence why jewelry is going to be a little bit different um, until I start getting my orders in properly. I've already had to believe it or not, cancel, like go into places where I've like bid it, like where they normally wouldn't say, oh yeah, you can cancel it. Because I'm like, listen, you said you shipped it three and a half weeks ago. I'm in Arizona. You shipped it from New Mexico or wherever. I'm just coming up like a state that's close, Texas or part of California or wherever. And it's not here. And it still says being like, uh-uh, I'm not playing these games. No, I cannot wait for my inventory to come here and you know, between, it can literally show up in like two days or it'll be like six weeks. No joke, no joke. And that's just not okay. So I've had to cancel things. I've had to fight to get my money back. Like it's been, it's been a deal just to bring you guys jewelry. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else who is selling has gone through any of this kind of thing. Um, but because my local, my close local thrift stores don't sell jewelry anymore, period, end of sentence. I literally have to go outside of city limits 
um, which yeah, can be done, but it's a pain in the butt, like to like, and, and to go and not know, you know? And yes, the hunt of the treasure and all those wonderful things you hear everyone talk about is awesome. But when you're driving around for six hours, bouncing from thrift store to thrift store to thrift store to thrift store, and you come home with like two items, that's not so much fun, I gotta tell you. And with, I have a pickup truck, I'm a sculptor, I need to have a big old vehicle, gas prices, you know. <sighs> I'm just gonna sit here and complain. No, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be all like, nah, 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 but it's a thing. It's a pain in the butt. That being said, <laughs> you know, I might not have as much jewelry as I normally would. I'll still have a variety and hopefully quality, um, but it's just not gonna be as plentiful. I'm probably not gonna have 70 pieces, you know, every Thursday until things start picking up again with deliveries and. Yeah, it's a struggle, I tell you. Anyway, enough of me complaining. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, well, one thing I'm going to complain about is rings, rings, rings. Y'all want rings, they bring rings. They're not anything that you guys want. So I have really stepped back on buying rings, but I'm still buying them. So I have a couple new rings. Um, I have this just beautiful, beautiful, I have not tested the stone, so I'm not sure if this is... Uh, blue topaz or um what the blue stone is okay but i will show it to you because it is really just a beautiful beautiful ring with all the detail on the sides lovely cut really really nice so i bet no i'm gonna say this is probably oh i can't put it on top of that what's that i didn't bring any of my tools out here i'm gonna say this is probably a seven but I will let you know for sure tomorrow night. It's a really, really, look at how it looks like liquidy. So pretty. Um, also, I have this really pretty. This is um, this is a smaller ring. I think it's like my size, possibly, let's see. I'm gonna say this is a six, I think. It is garnet and moonstone. Oh my goodness, what just happened? <gasps> Focus. No, you don't want to? You're not going to. Okay. I'm going to have to clean it a little bit. But... Really cool. Let me see if it's what it says. It just says 925. Is it signed by the artist? Uh, yeah, there is some sort of stamp. I don't have my loop on me, so... I'll have to look at it closer and see if I can read who the artist is or the manufacturer. I'm not sure. Very, very handmade looking though. Very cool. Um, and I also have just some real plain sterling silver chunkers because um, why not? You know, the warmer months are coming and I go through phases where I will wear stones, 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 or I go through phases where I just want like just beautiful sterling silver, just clean, crisp, elegant, simple, non-fussy. So I have a few of those I'll bring to you too. Um, and I have some larger sizes and just some, you know, you know, when I say plain silver, just literally, but heavy, really beautiful, simple, timeless sterling. They can be thumb rings, stacking rings, whatever you'd like. So I have a few of those I'll be bringing. Um, what else do I'm going to show you? Okay, I'll show you this guy. I have this goddess necklace. Um, I purchased her not that long ago for me, um, but then I purchased another one that's coming. Oh my God, this is gonna be take three. Okay, pretty, look at her. Hold on, I am so sorry. She's not gonna stop it, guys. She's just not listening to me. She's being a bad, bad little baby girl. She's being so bad right now. And I don't wanna yell at her because she's telling me about things. She's trying to tell me about the birds, the leaves, the cars, the people walking the dogs, deliveries. Anyway. I apologize. Hopefully it doesn't bother you guys too much. Anyway, so she'll be coming tomorrow. She's lovely. She's really pretty. Um, I just, I don't need, I, yeah, doesn't matter. She was mine. She's not going to be mine much longer. Can you see her? She in focus. Look how pretty that face is. Look at her. Mm. Lovely. Lovely. So she will be there. I don't know. What else can I show you guys that's not going to give everything away? Because I don't, like I said, you know, I have... I have some stuff, but you know, hmm. I will show, I will show one more thing. Do you guys wanna see a really, really cool avant-garde necklace? I don't know, let's see here. 
Okay, so this is Lenora Dame. Lenora Dame. And she makes some pretty awesome, awesome stuff. Look her up. Look at this mama jama. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. Has her hang tag. Isn't that pretty? Let me put her on a bust so you can see. Okay, she's a baller. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. Oh my gosh, she is so cool. For the change of seasons. I love it. I just love it. Love it. Anyway. So here's just a little brief, you know, little brief sneak peeky peek of what I'll be bringing tomorrow evening. Obviously, there's going to be more than just this. I will have some turquoise as always, some sterling. Um, I do have a few sterling silver bracelets. I've got some earrings. I've got brooches. I've got some, you know, I have a, some fun, fun, just, you know, silly brooches. And then I've got actually this time I have two really pretty, pretty, pretty brooches. So you all. I think we're pretty. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so there's going to be more. I definitely, I'll give you another, like, see, like, I've got a little bin there full of jewelry. we got some more over here. We've got some. We've got some. Just not as much as I normally like to have. Anyway, I hope to see everyone tomorrow evening. Once again, this is Kirsten from Kirsten Red Resale. This was the brief little preview. Um, I will now be editing all three little clips because of my little apple who needs to say hi almost every video because she just loves you all. Anyway, once again, I hope to see everyone tomorrow evening and I'll leave all my information in the description box down below. Hugs.